G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Today I'm going to show you a great little multiplication trick where we're going to be drawing lines to get our answer. It sounds good? Well, on top of that, for you people who may have seen this method before, I'm going to show you how it can be extended to multiply just not selected small little numbers, but all numbers. That is, big numbers with big digits really, really easily. So, do you want to see this? Well, just have a little smidge of patience because I'm going to quickly tell you about the sponsors of this video. This video is sponsored by a fantastic YouTube channel I've been watching recently. It's called Geekly EDU. Geekly EDU have lots of different video playlists covering topics across maths, statistics, biology, physics, chemistry, and economics. Even better, these guys post videos almost every day, so there is new content all the time to keep you learning. Check them out. The link for Geekly EDU is in the description below, and I'm going to put a link up at the end of this video. So have a look. So let's start out with a nice easy example. 14 multiplied by 12. These will get a bit harder as we go along, but let's learn to walk before we can run here. So I'm just gonna put these dots here to help me place the lines I'm going to be drawing. So first off, we're gonna put the 14 in. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna draw lines to represent each digit. So first off, we have a one. So that's gonna be one line right here. Next, we have a four, which is going to be four lines, which I'll be drawing up here. So one, two, three, four. Now, this is being multiplied by 12. So now I'm going to draw lines going in the opposite direction. So we have one here to represent the tens digit and two lines here to represent the units digit. Cool. So now we can go through and work out our answer. So let's do that. So what we're going to have in here is going to be the units part of our answer. Next, we're going to have the tens part of our answer and we're going to have the hundreds part of our answer. And we're going to be counting the number of times our lines intersect. So let's do that for the units here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So the first part of our answer, well, the units have an eight. To the tens part, we have one, two, three, four intersections and one, two here. So four plus two, that's a six. And then finally, for the hundreds, we have one intersection and that's our answer there. 14 times 12 is 168. How's that, right? It's a really cool trick. And I'm going to ask you nicely, if you do like it, please hit down on that like button. But do it pretty quickly, because I'll tell you what, right now, I'm going to go through one more example. A nice easy one once again, and then we're going to get harder. So for our next example, let's go 43 multiplied by 21. You might even pause the video and give this one a go yourself right now. I recommend putting those dots there though, just to guide what you're doing, otherwise it gets really messy. So starting up here, we're going to draw 43. So one, two, three, four, and down here we have three. So one, two, three, there we go, 43, multiplied by 21, running in the opposite direction. So we have 20 and we have one. And now we break these up. We have our units part, we have our tens parts, and we have the hundreds part of our answer. So let's go through and work this out. So we have one, two, three intersections there. So our units answer is a three. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten tens. So how are we gonna put that down? Well, we put the zero part down, and like you're probably not gonna to be too surprised there, we are gonna carry the one there. So now this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, our answer, we have 903. And that's how you multiply using lines, right? It's a really, really awesome trick. So like I said, easy as. I hope you agree, and if you do, just yell it out right now. Yell it out really loudly so everybody can hear. And also yell it out in the comments as well, which would be awesome. Now, settle down, you little scamp, because we're gonna have a look at some harder examples right now. So for our next example, we have 307 multiplied by 52. And you're going to notice a couple of things straight away why this is a bit more difficult. First off, we have some bigger digits. And I'm going to show you the easiest way you can deal with these without drawing stacks and stacks of lines. The other thing you're going to notice is we have a zero. I'll also show you how to deal with that. So what about we just launch into this right now? We start with our little diamond there and let's go. So first off, we have 307. So I'm going to draw three. One, two, three lines there. Now we're going to have the zero line. The way I'm going to put that in is I'm going to put that in as a dashed line there, just so we know that it is worth zero. The reason is, is because when we multiply by zero, 
We get the answer is zero, so we'll know what to do when we hit this particular dashed line and it won't be a problem. The next thing I'm going to put in is this seven, but rather than drawing seven lines, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to draw in a different color line, and that different color line is going to represent a value of five. So if that represents a five, I still have to draw in one, two extra lines. So there we have it, five plus two is equal to seven. We have 307. Running in this other direction, we have 52. So I'll put those in right now. Now, once again, our five is denoted by a red line here. So I'll put in a red line. And we have a two there. So that's nice and easy. We'll just put that in one, two. All right, so let's go through now and work this out. We have our units part, which is right here. This part right here is going to be our tens. We have our hundreds, which are these guys here, and we have our thousands up here. So let's go through and work this out. So first off, where we have a red line crossing a black line, the red line is worth five and the black lines are worth one, so five times one, that means the value of each one of those intersections is five. So we have five, 10, plus these guys which are worth one. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we'll put the four down there and we'll carry the one. Now, to the tens here, you're going to see that we have a zero first off multiplied by the ones. Zero, well, multiplying that, it just gives you zero. So I can just ignore that straight away. Coming down to this part here, you can see we have a red line crossing a red line. Five times five, which is equal to 25, plus five, plus five, 25, 30, 35, plus one here is equal to 36. So I'll put the six down, and we're going to carry the three. Now, looking at the hundreds here, you can see that we have a zero multiplied by five. It's going to give a zero. We can ignore that part. Up here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus three is equal to a nine. And finally here, we have reds crossing blacks, which are each going to be worth five. So we have five, 10, 15, and there you go. We have our answer, 15,964. And that's how you deal with with those bigger digits and the zeros. I'll tell you what, what about we get really chaotic now? I'm gonna make a bit of a harder one now and you give it a go. All right, to our final example, we have 416 multiplied by 309. And as I said, you could pause the video and give this one a go yourself, or more amusingly, you could probably watch me knuckle around and possibly get the wrong answer or really stuff this right up. So we'll see, okay? Either way is quite amusing. But I'm going to go through this right now. So first off, I'm going to draw 416 in. So here we go. So we have one, two, three, four. We have the one. And then for the six, we have this red one here. And we have a black one. So there we go. We have 416. And we're multiplying this by 309. So I'll draw that in. Let's do this. So we go one two, three. We draw in our zero, so I'll put that in there, a little zero, denoted by our dashed line, and then we put in a nine, which is going to be, as you're probably going to see, a red line with one, two, three, four. And as quite often happens, you might have to just tidy up the little ends there a little bit. So let's go through now and work this out. So first off, I'm just gonna separate up. We have the units part here. We have the tens part here. We have that hundreds part, which is all these guys here. We have the thousands part, which is this part here, and the tens of thousands part, which is just here. So let's do this. Remember, we're two red lines cross, we get 25. We're a red and a black line cross, we get five. We're a black and a black cross, we get one. And where these dashed lines cross, well, it makes it zero. So let's go through and work it out. So 25, we have 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So I'll put a four down for our answer there, and we will carry that five. Now, these guys have a dashed line, so we can ignore those, and we'll start counting down here. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus five is equal to 14. So it's gonna be a four, and we'll carry that one here. All right, so I'm gonna start where the red lines cross the black and then move from there. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So that's going to be a 5 there, and I'm going to carry that 5. Awesome. So we have a dashed line crossing here. We can ignore all of those. And up here, we're going to count. We have 1, 2, 3, plus 5 is equal to 8. And then finally down here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can put that in there. And there we have our answer, 128,544. And that is how you go through and multiply with lines. It's a really cool trick, right? Once again, a big shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video, Geekly EDU. You're going to see a link in the description below. And at the end of this video, you'll see a link to go to them as well. A big shout out to my patrons and a big thank you to my patrons and also to you, my subscribers and anyone who's really lasted this long watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this trick. We'll see you next time.